thanks for tuning into my video. Hope you're doing well. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can use the Line 6 Pod Go as your guitar processor and your in ear monitor system. Rich, Richie Castellano released a video a few years ago about this with the Line 6 TLX. You can do this with the Pod Go, but you have to get your routing just right because it is a serial uh, path here. So, what I've done is on this patch the effects loop is all the way at the end which is very important and I have the mix set to 50 percent if it's more than 50 percent the guitar signal goes down if it's less than 50 percent the return signal goes down so 50 percent is your sweet spot on that I have the return volume set to 0 dB and for this one and you have to do this to taste I have the send set to minus 10 if it's more than minus 10, it, it doesn't sound good at all. So the cabling that you'll need, obviously you'll need a guitar cable to go into the guitar input. You'll need a TS or TRS cable to go into the uh, return. Depends on if your mix is stereo or mono. And a simple TS cable coming up from the sin should be fine. And of course, something to monitor with headphones. In this case right now, I've got a Bluetooth speaker off to the side, hooked up, wired. Uh, so that you can hear the guitar. In this case, I have the iPad hooked up to the return for the backing track and the guitar going all out to my IK Multimedia iLoud so that I could hear everything. So essentially, the iLoud would be what you would hear through the headphones, what you would monitor. So here's the backing track. To show you that this works um, as intended, I'm going to pl keep playing the backing track, then I'm going to remove the headphone output, and you'll see the, the, the audio cuts out. So the only audio that would come out would be from the send that would go to the DI box. So that's how you can use the Line 6 Pod Go as your inner monitor system. You can either hook this up to a wired inner monitor system or like the XV U4 uh, to get wireless inner monitors. Um, or you can just use regular wired headphones. A headphone extension cable and in ears. There's all kinds of different ways you can do it. Line 6 Pod Go is very versatile. It's not nearly as versatile as the Helix, uh, but you can achieve this if you're wanting a very compact way to not only get HX tones, but also monitor a backing track or live musicians from a monitor mix. If you found this video helpful, please like, share, and subscribe. Take care.